right, I'm going to show you how to install and set up how to uh, smart access anywhere into a JDSU 5800. I have a 5800 uh, T-Bird hooked up to my uh, local network here. So if you go to this website here, you'll want to click on the uh, zip file here for Windows and uh, download it. So once it's downloaded, you'll just want to install it. So it's straightforward install. So once it's installed, you'll get an icon like this. So all you'll want to do is just double click on it. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go into your JDSU and, uh, your, and go under uh, system. Then click on VNC and uh, enable VNC. Then you also will have to connect your uh, JDSU to an Ethernet connection. So I have it plugged in to the right side of the JDSU right above the two USBs. There's a Ethernet jack here. So you want to plug it into that one and not the RS-232 because we're not worried about serial stuff. So once it's in there, if you go under your uh, system then click on network on the JDSU, you'll see the IP address of the uh, JDSU. So once you have that, and you have this uh, smart access anywhere opened up on your computer. Up top here, as you can see, we'll just click, type in the IP address, and we'll just hit connect. So once you're connected, you can see that we're connected. We're connected down here. Then you have your information. Then uh, remote screen. Now, here's the screen. We are in the JDSU remotely. And like I said earlier, once you... Before you can do this, you'll have to click on this icon, click on this little thing right here to uh, enable the VM, VNC access. So, then if you want the IP address, just click on network, you'll get the IP address. So here we are, we can run test from here. You know, this will work good if you're in a remote area. The test set's hooked up to something somewhere else on the same network you can uh, do this everything from here without being in front of the machine so we'll go back here and we're just going to update this because there is an update so we'll just click on network as you can see the address is already in there we'll just connect it and we'll just let this go through its thing but other than that it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Um, if you need to copy files over local, then here's your remote to the uh, JDSU. You can do so. But we'll just go back to this and we'll just hit start upgrade. We'll just hit OK. And <clears throat> the upgrade ain't the fastest thing in the world. But... Uh, we'll let it go, but, uh, that's about it, there's not very much to it, so, and you can disconnect up here, you can change your settings before you connect right there, and like I said, your file transfers here, then your remote screen, and obviously it's doing the same thing on the unit as you can see right here on the uh, screen on the program itself so it works out pretty well so all right thanks for watching